Insurers won't cover new Alzheimer's treatment for some customers. Private insurers and states, including North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and New York, are refusing to cover the costs of Lakembi, the first fully approved drug to slow mental decline in Alzheimer's patients. Despite costing $6,000 a year, insurers label the drug as experimental and won't cover it under individual market or employer insurance. This is contrary to Medicare, which will cover most patients who take Lequambi after announcing coverage following the full approval of the drug last month. Lequambi has been proven to slow cognitive decline caused by Alzheimer's, though modestly, and was approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration for patients with mild dementia and other early Alzheimer's symptoms. Around 76% of the people taking Lakembi will be covered by Medicare, says Japanese drug maker Ize, co-marketing the drug with Cambridge, Massachusetts-based Biogen Incorporated. The refusal of commercial plans to cover the drug has been called discrimination. The full picture on commercial insurance is still emerging, with several companies still evaluating Lakembi. Prominent insurers that will cover the drug include Kaiser Permanente and Elevance Health, while United Healthcare declined to comment. Patients with privately run Medicare Advantage plans will receive coverage. Most insurers are expected to cover the drug, but heavily restrict its use. However, waiting for coverage is risky for patients who may advance out of early stage Alzheimer's and no longer qualify for Lukenby. Thanks for watching till the end. If you appreciated this update on the coverage struggle for Alzheimer's drug, Lukenby, don't forget to hit the like button. Your support helps us continue to bring you the latest news. To never miss an update, subscribe to our channel. Remember, your life can make a difference for Alzheimer's patients awaiting coverage. Cheers!